Welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. We are going to see JavaScript, especially string functions and some of the date functions. I have declared a variable n. We have initialized that variable to a string, hello, how are you? If you want to find the length of the string, use this n.length, the string name dot length. This will return the number of characters in the string. Now I am just making a simple comparison. If the length is greater than 10, write longer text, else print shorter text. Let us go back to this one and then verify. It says longer text. Now let me purposefully delete some of the contents and then come back. It says shorter text. So it is a very simple function to get the length of the string. Now, if I want to convert the string to uppercase and lowercase, let us do that now. Now I have initialized this word to hello. Let us say how some part of it is in lowercase, some part of it is in uppercase. Now I want to convert this string to uppercase. You have to use n dot to uppercase. JavaScript is case sensitive, so you need to be very clear about the variable names and the function names. Now, if you want to convert this whole stuff to lowercase, the same way you can use to lowercase. Okay. So let us print both of both uppercase and lowercase for the same string. Part of it is lowercase, part of it is uppercase. So let us go back and then print it. Refresh this one. Hello, how? This is the uppercase. Now, it has completely converted to lowercase. Hello, how? So, if you want to convert the characters to uppercase and lowercase, use these two functions, to uppercase and to lowercase. Next, what we want to find out is whether a particular string is contained within another string. So, how do I find out? To find out whether this a R E this word is found in this string n, you need to use n dot that index of. N is the string name. Index of is the built in command. Within brackets give the string that you want to find out. So it will find this word R within this string n. If it is found it will return the position. If it is not found it will it will give a negative number. Let us do this. I go back, refresh this. It says word is found at 10. That means the 10th location, it's finding that particular uh, word within this string. So here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that's a space. 10th position starts with R. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to change this word. D A R E. You know this D A R E is not in this string. So let us see what it returns. Now let me go and refresh the screen. It says minus 1. So if index of returns a positive number, that means it's found. If it returns negative number, it means it is not found within that string. Next, we want, we are going to do how to split a particular string into its sub-elements. Look at this example. We have initialized n as hello space how space har space u. So the space is the delimiter between the words. Now I have used a function called split. Split this string based on the delimiter space which is included in double quotes. It will return that into array x. So I am saying print x of 0, print f x of 1, print x of 2. Let us execute this one. So if you see here, it says hello, how, r. So it has taken this hello as x of 0, how as x of 1, x of 2, x of 3. So you can convert a string which is uh, delimited by something. Suppose I delimit this by comma. All I need to do is go give commas over here. In the separator, give the comma. Then go back and execute. Let us print all the four elements. Okay. Now let us print it. Refresh. 
it prints hello how are you so all you need to do is give the string use the split command give the delimiter it will return the individual words into an array so you can use that array element after the split command if you want to extract a particular portion of a string you need to use sub str so what I'm trying to do is from the string n starting from position 6 get me next 6 characters so it will start from the position 6 and then it will give the next 6 characters so let us try to write it on the document let us execute it now it says how comma ar so these are 6 characters so let us go and then count it back so this is the position number 6 but if actually this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 and then H starts at 6 so from the 6th position next 6 characters are taken and then it is printed so if you want to extract a particular portion use substring to use date functions you need to declare a variable and then use new of date this will return the current date and time so I'm printing that full value then if you want to print the full year in yyyy format use year same way for month you can get the date from the current date get the hours get the minutes get the seconds I have taken only a few options over here let us go and then print it refresh the screen this is the current date and time this is the full year this is the current date this is the current time hours this is the current minutes same way you can get the time zone you can get the seconds everything you can get so if you, you can get the day of the week also so you can manipulate the current date and then from that you can extract the values from that you can use string functions or numeric functions to do the arithmetic with this we end this session over here thank you